Money makes the world go round, world go round. Yeah, cabaret fan. Scotty, are you in focus? Are you sure? Oh, I look terrible by zooming on myself like times two. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I sure hope I'm not missing any pieces on here. Clean this up. What is up you guys? Welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty and check this out. This is from Zing Bao. Boom, look at that. So this is Zing Bo's Banks. In the Chinatown series, XB01023, 2,955 pieces. Now the feedback I've been getting from you guys about this set is that it's actually pretty bland. Like it's nothing like the other two. The other two are very intricate, they look beautiful. If you haven't seen them, watch them over here. They're very, very cool indeed. In my own humble opinion, which may not matter to you guys, I feel that this one is actually the best build. I think that if LEGO were to actually make the set, this one would be approved first because if you look at it, first of all, they do take advantage of the entire 32 by 32 base plate. And also it's super solid. Things not gonna fall apart. I haven't had any issues with it and it's sturdy. And look here, should I drop it from here? Yeah, three, two, one. Look at that. Everything shook except for this. Mighty fine, mighty fine. It does look kind of blandish, but it looks kind of real and I really, really like it. Let's just check it out. We'll start on the front and work our way around to the back, to the top and all that good stuff. First thing you'll notice on the front, it's all tiled. I like the steps going up to the door. I like these little white fences that they put there on the side. They have the street sign here. That thing is big, man. I'm not sure what that represents, but they look like gold birds or money. Yeah. You got a couple windows there on the sides. They're kind of like slotted sideways in. They're not really perfectly lined up, but they look okay. There's a little bit of a gap there. And you got the front doors there, which we'll see if they open and close properly or not. And again, you got more of those lanterns. We're seeing those lanterns too many times now. So on the top of the door is the one and only sticker of this whole set. And it says Jin Tong Bank. I guess that's the name of the bank. And the rooftop there along the front is really nice. It's very simple. It's nice and small. It's not like the other one. It's not gonna fall apart on you. And then let's move to the side. Again, they put the windows there sideways in. You know, you got that little bit of gap there. I'm not sure if you guys like that idea. It's actually not really windows, right? They're like the fence put sideways. They may look kind of old school. And I like it about the window here, the design there. And then I have another window on the top. You know, it's the side of a building. It's plain, but at least it has windows on it. Yeah? Swing to the back here. More windows and a back door. Same deal as you saw on the other side. And you have a couple more windows along the top there that open and close. They're not the same style as the ones on the bottom. To the other side here, yeah. This one actually looks pretty cool too. And I like how they did this down here. You're gonna see why it's like that. It's not quite a window, but you'll get the idea soon. And I have a little balcony right there. You know, from the monitor there, it actually looks pretty good, man. I like the look of it. It looks like a temple. You don't have to get all crazy and intricate with it. Again, when I saw the photos the first time, I was like, oh, this one, I'm gonna build it last because it doesn't really look that great. But after building it, I was like, hmm, pretty impressed. All right, so we know it's modular. So we can take off this middle part. We'll work on the inside. There we go, we'll take it right off. Oh, you heard that sound, you heard that sound? Okay, I'll explain that sound to you in a second. Second floor has a very, 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 very small gap that's just for the staircase. So once in a while, you might actually knock this piece of the staircase off, but that's very easy to put back on. You ready for this? Let's tilt it. Here we go. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Here, I'll pull it back there so you can see it better. Yeah. First thing, yes, it has space. Well, at least it has space here. So you got plenty of movement to, you know, stand your minifigures up, decorate it the way you want to. And that's because, again, they use almost the entire base plate and that I'm grateful for. It's a little bit tight over here, but it's just one room that's tight, you know? It's not like the other set where it's like every room is super, super tight. All right, let's look on the inside. First of all, the doors, they open and close. Yes, they do. I think one of you mentioned before that you had issues with the door. I didn't have issues with the door. It opens just fine. I think you just suck at building. I'm just kidding. You know, go back and just double check, make sure you're okay with that. They open and close, perfectly fine. It was a little bit tricky when you get to that manual of putting this wall up in the front. I remember I was like, oh, uh, I may have like did it the wrong way or offset it a little bit. Just go back in there and make sure you're doing it right. But you can see it from the angle here on the inside. That it worked perfectly fine. And look, ladies and gentlemen, it is fully tiled on the inside. Yes. And they placed a couple studs here and there so you can stand your minifigures, they won't fall over. Even though it's really simply tiled on the inside, I do like the black that comes along in the middle, brings you right to the counter. You come on in and you got this cool counter. It almost looks like a pawn shop style. Actually, we have a lot of pawn shops here and they kind of have this look to it still, old school look. And now if you come to the left side, 
You'll see this flower pot on the stand. I like it. It's nice and tall. It looks really cool. I like the flower pot idea. Got a flower hanging in there. And next to that, look at that. You guys, take a look. It's an incense shelf. This is what I was talking about. This is what they should have had in the Chinese New Year set. I would have replaced the bookshelf and put this shelf on the inside. You got a micro figure Chinese god. I guess they're worshiping the god there. Couple of signs there. That thing ain't no joystick. That is the incense. It is really cool. This is what I was looking for. Very simple, you get the idea. Now say your prayers and burn that thing. So on the left side, it says plenty harvest. On the right side, it says more blessings come. And above that, you got these three, I guess they're just like more Chinese decorations along the top, like picture frames. That is really nice, I don't know what they are. They didn't waste the space up there. And then we come here to the side. Staircase is a little bit, little bit, little bit flimsy. It's not perfect. It hasn't actually really fallen off. But like I mentioned, when you come up to the second floor, there's only a small gap here. So when you're putting this level back on top, you gotta be careful for the gap. You might knock this little piece over. But look underneath the staircase. They got some stuff in there. Yeah, you got a little box. And inside that box looks like a little scroll. Nice touch. It's a little bit tight getting around to the back counter, but you do have a shelf there. You can still access it. I think I'm guessing that's a candle in the corner. It's a wild guess, but I don't know. You guys tell me what that is. I have no idea. It looks like a bookshelf or maybe a filing cabinet there. So before we get into the counter, there is a little swivable door here. Swivable, I love that word, swivable. But it is really hard to open and close, man. Just leave it closed, don't even bother moving it. It might just pop off if you move it around too much. So you come in and look. You got some keys there, you got some calligraphy pen, another abacus. Then this is really cool, I like this as a little scale. Old school style scale. Now this is an old school bank, but if you want a new bank or a new modernized version, Lego makes one. I did a review for that one here. That was actually a lot of fun too. I love the little intricate details in that one. So you can do a comparison, yeah? Yeah, with that. Now here, we have a book. Yeah, this thing kept falling over because it's not mounted down or anything. They probably marked down your interest and in how much you owe because you're broke buying too many Legos. So the book translates as accountant's book. So there you go. Log in those numbers. We'll put this back here on the counter. Oh, I dropped it again. Oh, don't drop it, because it'll slide under the counter. It'll be so hard to pull out. Got some silver bars there. That must mean that's money. Are we getting close to some money? There's a one piece that looks like it's missing behind the counter. You'll kind of see it there. There's no piece that goes in there, but you can probably fill that in. Now, on the back wall, they decorated it. It's quite nice. It looks more like a makeup table, but okay. You got this lamp here on the side. You got this big emblem on the top. I'm not quite sure what that is. There's no sticker on there. But look at the countertop. It's nice, I like the length. You got some drawers there. They are empty, and I don't know what those white things are. And you have a couple more drawers. You know, those ones don't really open. And a mirror there, it's like a magnifying glass. Into the really, really small room, okay? I gotta admit, that is like super tight. Look, I can't even put my hand in there. Do not put your minifigures inside there. You'll never be able to get them out. Well, you probably could. You have to just like lift this whole thing up and do it like a maze, you know, open the back door and let them fall out. Now, funny enough, behind the counter, there is no door. It's just an arch, like an open walkway that goes straight into the back. Now I'm guessing that is supposed to be a vault back there. It's really cool. It's got tons of money. Look at all the gold bars and all those little silver studs. I guess that's coins. Use your imagination. But there's no door to go inside. It's just like open so you can come in here, run in there, steal some money, run out the back door. But that's what I was mentioning here before. The window piece there on the side. It's actually like, you know, steel bars, I guess. So it's really nice to use advantage of everything down here, except the second floor is a little bit smaller because it's cutting down the side, but it's still bigger than the other sets on the second floor, yeah? Let's check it out, slide this here. Put this here, look at that. There's an easy way to take this off, this rooftop. Yay, thank you. Don't grip too hard on these, but you can actually just pull these little gold pieces off. If you pull too hard, it's gonna completely come off, but look. We can take this rooftop off. So here's the second floor. If I had to complain about the set, it's that it gets smaller on the second floor because they have two balconies. It's still cool because the balconies are nice that you can put the minifigures outside, but that just means you have a much, 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 much smaller room on the inside. But you can reach your hand inside. It's very easy. It's a lot of room. They didn't pile the second floor. How dare you? Anyway, let's look inside here. We come up the staircase. It's just a big giant wall on that side. So I'm guessing this is the boss's office because it's just like an office, right? Got another little book here. The same book we saw downstairs, same printing. I like the flowers down there. It's different from the bottom floor, which is nice that they did change it. And you got a simple desk there. Looks like they have tea, another abacus, and a calligraphy pen and two chairs. So the desk is nice. It is very simple. And of course it has the two chairs. Now the two chairs, one of them for me was actually really delicate. 
so it might fall apart if you try to push down on it. So be careful. I'm pretty sure it's this chair. If I push down on it, it might just collapse, but it's okay right now. Oh, there, see? Here, yeah. it's falling apart. But you know, that's a very minor thing. Easy to put back together. On the back corner there, you have a nice tall cabinet. I do like the height of that. I really do think that's a candle on the top. You got a pot there and another filing cabinet there. And a simple door that comes out to the side balcony here. And there's enough room to put a couple mini figures there. And on the front, you got a much, much bigger balcony there. The door opens up just fine. I didn't have any problems with that. I do like the front balcony. You know why? I like the white color there and I like the flowers on the side. I like how they designed it around the door with a little bit of an awning there, that rooftop piece. Some lanterns on the side. I like the little decoration just above the door as well. I think if they really took out the balcony, they could have made something much bigger, but then you would kind of lose that depth a little bit on the outside. So I actually don't mind the balconies being there. Drop test on this one too? Yeah, we'll do it a little bit higher. How about here? Like that. <laughs> Nothing fell down, look at that. Nothing. Yeah, that's what I like. Can you imagine if I dropped the T92 tank? Yeah, yeah, no, okay. We're gonna put this here. Make sure you slot it nicely. Finally, it's the roof. Check that out. Really well done because it is small. They secured it really nice and tight. Do we need to do a drop test on this too? Yeah, why not? This one might fall apart. I don't know. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, see, I told you that piece would fall off. It has Scotty's seal of approval. It's really well built on the inside. It does have the little wrench. It's kind of hard to see that he clipped them in but it is solid. You don't have to go so crazy with the rooftops. I love the gold, I love the green. It stands out, it's just like the other ones, but at least it's secure in place. That is fantastic. I really like this one. So there it is, all back together again. Of course, it comes with eight minifigures. First of all, you got this little accessory. Let's pull this out. It's a little cart with wheels. That is so cool, they put a sword there on the side. It's a treasure chest. So I guess if you're gonna get some money from the bank or you need a deposit, there you go. Fill that sucker up, get some of the staff. So wheel that out of here. We'll put that there on the front. Let's look at those minifigures. Let's start with this guy first, because I love his headpiece. He has a balding head like I do, and he still has a little bit of hair outside. I think that's pretty funny. Printing looks pretty okay. Nothing too bad. Plain on the back, and he looks angry. And that is Lucas Wigger. You said my head looks so funny. Well, I hope you're having a good laugh. And there you are. Make those customers happy, okay? Don't be too upset now. And you got this one, this one, I'm guessing that's a woman, or it could be a man, I don't know. She's got a beard, but she's got long hair. I think that's a guy, that's gotta be a guy, right? That is Nyan Cat Gaming 111. I'm glad you always think it's good when I sing. I think I'm breaking speakers all over the world. But there you go, I guess you're part of the owner of this bank as well. You got this guy with a funky looking mustache. And he has a blue robe on, it's printing on both sides. It looks okie dokie, there's no smearing. It looks pretty okay to me. And that is Mohammed Riswandi. I'm glad you're having a good laugh at Kentucky EU Chicken, but there you are. Maybe you're a customer of this bank? I'm not quite sure. You gonna deposit all that money? Then you got this guy in black. I do like the little gold printing on his, is that like a belt buckle? That's pretty crazy. Maybe he's super rich and got nice printing on the back too. The mustache looks a little bit high on his face, but it's okay. Wearing a man bun. And that is Brick Life. Brick Life, I really look forward to seeing a remock of the KEC. I wanna see how you double that setup. Then you got this lovely lady, nice print. I like the little leaf on her leg, that's kinda cool. She looks just fine, the printing looks a little bit worn. And this lady is Isabel. Isabel, there you are again. Thank you for ordering from us, and I hope you're enjoying your corner store, or maybe you're not. I know it's a little frustrating sorting those bricks out, but you'll get the hang of it. And there you go. And the last three guys, they all look like they're kind of the staff. I guess they're the guys that are gonna carry your money out of the bank. So let's look at the first one here. He's wearing a do-rag. I like the printing on him. Both sides, he's got this really weird wind emblem. And he's wearing this material around him. That's actually pretty cool. And it looks like he's been working at this bank for way too long. And he is... Google Evil, I don't know if that's your name right. Gloria Hole seems to be more on your mind than the bank, but there you go, looking cool and rough. You got this guy with the do-rag as well, but his printing is slightly different on the front. He's got a little pouch there, so maybe he's handling all your payments. Look at his nose, it looks like freckles, that is so weird. And that is Blue Risk. Blue Risk, there you are, taking a risk, stealing the money from the bank. So the last minifigure character here, the same printing as the last minifigure. We got the pouch around his waist as well. He's got brown eyebrows. Okay, nice hair. And that is Zergath. Zergath, you're the one that's gonna go into the vault and steal the money and just walk right out of there. So enjoy all that money. You're rich. All right, you guys, it's dimension time. Just so you know, this is a 32 by 32. And look at that. It's a 32 by 32 base plate on the bank. 
put it here on the front just so you guys can get a visualization. All right, I got my one by four bricks. That's pretty high, man. Now if I put it against here, it is just around 30 bricks in height. If I were to do this, you guys can see it a little bit better. That is where it hits. It's like just near perfect, man. Look at that. Measure your space, go, 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 and order one today on BreakMeUpScotty.com. So there you guys go. That's Zing Bells Banks. What do you guys think? You like it? No? You don't like it? I like it. I'm a big fan of it. And that's it for the Chinatown 2019 series. So until next time, you guys, it's time to go review some other sets. Yeah? Let's do this. Break me out. Oh, and a little bit of bowing there. Just a slight bit of bowing on that tip. So little. And the sign just fell over. Oh no, what you gonna do? Money, 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 money. So I can go actually a little brighter on that one. Thank goodness for post-production, I can fix things up in there. Okay, here we go. Zing, zing bao, zing bao, zing bao, zing bao. Chinatown, zing bao. Clear the mind, clear the air, pretend you're all there. Are we all sitting down? Are we all relaxed right now? And you, Mr. Shop Owner, for your gratitude, go to the bank and deposit this check. I am telling you that man said to take this check and to get it deposited by you. Well, that's an interesting story, but I told you a thousand times, there was no one by the name of that here, and that person has no money in this bank. I can't believe it. The next time I find that guy, I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do. What do I do? I have no money now. Hey, come outside with me and have some air. What? Are you crazy? You want me to pay that much interest to you? My kids' kids, kids' kids' kids will be long gone before I can pay that off. You must be crazy. Well, good sir, you know that this is a bank, right? You want money? You gotta pay back. Just forget it. I'm out of here. Well, this really sucks. Now what do I do? There are so many people in the bank that have money. Why don't I have money? Oh, maybe I'll say a little prayer. Listen here, I may be really old. I've been on this planet for so long. I deserve something. Please give me a sign that I can have some money. Because I need it. You're right. Looks like I can just walk back there. Praise you be. Well, ma'am, if you do it that way, you gotta pay this much interest. Uh, you'll be begging for the rest of your life, but you'll be welcome to use this bank every hour of the day. That guy is so busy. Look, I could just walk right past him. That was too easy. There's not even a door in here. Oh my goodness. Look at all that money. Should I just take it? I don't know if that's a good thing to do or a bad thing to do. Listen, boy, we don't have that much time. I'm gonna try my best to pick lock this door. You gotta find another way in. We're gonna grab that gold and get out of here. Oh, okay, sir. Uh, I'll try through that window. Ha ha ha, easy peasy. I can get in this way. What the heck? What are you doing there? Me? What are you doing inside there? I didn't even have to pick that lock. The door is just open for me. Is it that easy to take money from here? Hey, old man, get out of our way. We were here first. Yeah, old man, this is our gold, not yours. Listen, Sonny, I've been working on my whole life. You know I need this money. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe he can help us out. We have a third guy to help us take some money. I mean, we could just share it three way. Enough of this talking, boy. We've all been standing here way too long. We're gonna get caught. All right, old man, you grab the gold bars. Let's get out of here. There's a cart in the back. Go, go, go. Okay, here's the last gold bar. Ugh. That was almost too easy. There's no one there. No one's even stopping us. You're right, boy. This is the best heist I've ever done. Now that we're done, you guys promised me a three-way cut, right? I'm gonna go with you. Fine, old man. Get up on the cart. Boy, let's get out of here. All right, let's go. We're gonna be so rich, yes. Hey, mister, I saw those guys going to the vault and steal your money. They ran away with it, almost all of it too. There's so many guys back there. Oh, that guy, that old man that was here earlier? Oh, they have no idea. They think that's real money? That's funny money. They're not gonna get very far. <laughs> it's all fake here. 
So what are you guys going to do with your cut of the money? Oh, I want to be like this guy Scotty. He has a studio with all these brick toys. I want to buy them all and open my own store. Wishful dreaming, that ain't never going to happen. Oh, don't let the kid down. One day you might get your own toy business. Hmm, what am I going to do with my money? Oh, I got it. I'm going to build my own city. I'm going to call it Zingbao. And it will be very successful one day. I'm going to open a theater, a silk shop. I can't wait. That sounds good to me. Yeah. Beat that, Brick Me Up, Scotty.